All right, welcome to the table. Stephen Jameson here. I'd like to say joined alongside two of Q Sports all-time greats, Mark Selby, Gareth Potts. Join us, gents. First of all, lovely to be here. I, we're, we're actually joining you ahead of your Pairs Cup showdown, so by the time this comes out, the result will be known. But just first, before we get going, I'm actually looking forward to be back in our eight-ball table, Mark. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. It's, it'll be good fun as well. I mean, I watch it every week on TV back home, uh, and I like the format. I like the rules, uh, and it's great to be partnering Gareth as well. I mean, obviously, I've followed his progress even before I got to know him properly many, many years ago, before I got with Vicky. So, uh, yeah, it's great to to have a good partner. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's get underway. We're going to give you a Scotch doubles frame. Bit to of go practice first, for it? tonight, yeah. Get that break going, Mark. As long as I don't go in off. Crunched it first go. There you go, look. Should have saved that one for tonight. <laughs> And I suppose, guys, for you, as someone who's only recently returned to the sport yourself, to have Mark here tonight is, is a pretty special moment for multiple reasons. But in a pool sense, it, it's amazing to have him back, isn't it? No, it is. And obviously, it's you know, pretty special for me to play with him because, you know, we've played each other a couple of times, you know, back in the day. Obviously, we never played doubles together. So, you know, for, for us and, you know, for, for the family and stuff to, to be watching. But more importantly, I think it's just huge for the, for the sport, you know, what, ultimate pool we're trying to achieve here and take the game of English eight ball pool to the levels where I think we all hoped it would be one day. Obviously having people like Mark playing in it is only gonna help to get that you know get it to where we where we want it to be so obviously great for me but also great for English eight ball. Yeah for sure well don't let me hold you back mate. Got the new cue now so no excuses. I have, I have got the new cue. Any ideas? First shot yellow, isn't it? Put that in there, kiss the red onto the cush. Steve, he doesn't lose it. <laughs> what do you mean, Steve? This is what I'm up against you, T. It's like one against three tonight. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah, I'll do. Just like that. On command, which is good. Like. Last time I played with Gaz, he retired me from the game. Yeah, so let's talk about it. So the last time you actually played an English eight ball match was 2007 Worlds, am I right in thinking? And. This man here stuck you out the tournament and then you, you know, rogered off to snooker and we never saw you again. <laughs> yeah, he did. Well, I mean, I played snooker. I played both at the same time for many, many years. Obviously started out playing pool. Uh, played in the World Championship 2006 and was managed to, to win it there, which was great. And as you say, I went defending champion the following year uh, and lost to Gareth in the quarters. I think 9-7, I remember. He went on to win it that year. So, uh, yeah, after that, never seen a pool table again other than just in and, the week, Tuesdays and, and, and I'm Thursdays. Glad he didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Stay on that snooker table. <laughs> oh, what's he done there? And I suppose for you guys, just to be able to to have this fellow as part of your family, very, very close. I mean, a few in here tonight, I'd imagine, watching you two. Yeah, no, they will. I think the atmosphere in here. And, and I think... Whoa. I th see, this is what I'm dealing with, look. <laughs> it's like playing killer. Perfect, that is. Perfect. <laughs> but no, I mean, for the English eight ball is about the atmosphere. You know, it's not snooker where, you know, it's deadly silent. And I think the atmosphere that will be in here tonight, especially with the doubles, I think will will be quite special. I know. Because that's like, something we saw with the Pro Series with, with you when you came back. Mm -hmm. To have the crowd in was, was fantastic. And that's what that's what it's all about here at Ultimate Pool, isn't it? Getting that atmosphere going. Yeah, and I always said, you know, when I, if I ever came back to English Pool, it would have to be something that I felt would, would, be, would be like that. And the first match against Scott was definitely like that. You know, the, the juices were, were definitely going before that match. So uh, I think tonight we'll... we'll Will eclipse that to be honest. I think the atmosphere, obviously, all of the all of you know, it's my own clubs, all my mates will be here. Mark knows all other people here because he comes here quite a lot. So, um, no, just really looking forward to it. And I think the atmosphere will be special, yeah, absolutely. Well, let's see if you can nail this yellow after Mark's left you in a slightly iffy wow. position. Does it kiss the red football? Is it? it okay? I think left it there for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to make it out. I mean, didn't leave it there for no reason, Gaz. Uh, he knows just what everything, this, he, everything he, knows he tells what me, I just try to mech out of over it. Keeps <laughs> <laughs> leaving me all the odd shots. <laughs> I suppose for you, Mark, as someone who, who watches from afar every Monday night, as you say, what what is it about what Ultimate Pool are doing? What is it that you see that you like from from an outside perspective, as it were? Yeah, I just think uh, from like you say, playing pool at such a young age, it's definitely gone to another level. Uh, there have been so many rules over the years from what I know uh, in pool with it being world rules, the old EPA rules, 
Uh, and now these rules, international rules, which I think is probably the best rules that I've come across in, in English pool. Uh, and also playing pool as well from a pool background. I, I just like the atmosphere, you know, obviously don't get me wrong, I've done well in my snooker career, but it's always hush hush. You go into a snooker hall in a snooker room, nobody's talking. Where the pool, you get the banter and it's all a bit razzmatazz, uh, a little bit like the darts in a way. Uh, many years I went to Yarmouth and team events and just love the love the atmosphere of it all and the banter. So it's nice to be back playing it again. Yeah, for sure. Well, let's get the job finished, eh, hey, lads? Okay. I, I was going to say, I know you said you've never potted a black before. You, you don't want to. You don't want to play. So, I will leave we just, this we, we we just, we just want, I'll take the microphone. Dave, come on, and I just, come, come on. You can, you can pot the black. Hey, this isn't about me. This isn't about me. You get the job done, boys. <laughs> come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. You can pot this. I've got you dead straight on Simon's it. Simon's been telling us you used to break in dish for fun. Let's have a look. I, I would never. Come on, mate. If, you've sorry. not seen tweaking until me and a straight black in front of you two. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> right, this is the first eight ball that's going to be potted by you in. 14 years? He, did, he doesn't, camera, want, to, so he doesn't we, want to steal your thunder. Yeah, we don't, we don't want to take the moment away. <laughs> you best not tweak now. <laughs> <laughs> I never in doubt. Uh, look, lads, before we take you away from the cameras, it, it's, it's been so nice having you back. What's it going to mean to you to, to play tonight in front of your families, in front of your friends, on live TV as well? Will there be a few, a few nerves, Mark? Uh, not really. I think it's just more enjoying it and, and enjoy playing eight ball again, especially as Gareth said earlier on, playing it as, as a family now, playing as a pairs event. Uh, what a better partner to have, you know? I mean, it all seems to make sense. But I was going to play it with my daughter because Lewis at Stanford Cues has just recently made her a pool cue. So she started playing a little bit, but she unfortunately she couldn't get time off school. So uh, <laughs> I've had to play with Gaz, but it's just one of them things, you know. Yeah, you, I mean, it's not a bad plan, <laughs> B. could have saved that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, lads, I wish you all the very best luck to for tonight, and uh, I'm sure it will all go well. And Mark, thanks for spending your time with us. Uh, no problem. Thanks for having we'll me. see you very, very soon on Ultimate Football.